There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fool me, we can't get fooled again. What's up everyone, Dirch here, and I'm talking about the Walmart leak. So far I've avoided talking about all these leaks and speculation and all this stuff because I really don't like this stuff, to be honest. But this one's a two bit out there to not talk about. So today, as you guys probably all know, Walmart Canada screwed up somewhere and accidentally launched a bunch of games on a pre-order list and then took it down about 10 or 15 minutes later. I was informed about it after it was already down, but so I just got to see the images. But um, yeah, so Borderlands 3 is on here. It's $79.96, which would be our Canada conversion rate for us in the US. And I don't think this means anything. Nothing at all. I think this is utterly pointless. And that's what I'm here to kind of talk about. So far, we've seen a lot of leaks. We've seen the fake... Uh, that fake Borderlands 3 image that hit Reddit that turned out to be just a Dark Souls image. Uh, we've seen leaks like this before that were fake. We have the Microsoft exclusivity deal that turned out to be false. Um, it seems like every week there's like some new fake Borderlands 3 leak. And I know E3 is coming up. People are excited. But I don't think Borderlands is going uh, to be at E3. I really, really don't. And I want it to be. Don't get me wrong. I really want to see images of Borderlands 3. I want to see a trailer. I want to see a skill tree. I want to I want to see stuff. I'm so excited about this. Obviously, I have been playing, you know, Borderlands 2 almost nonstop for six years. Uh, with a few breaks here and there. And, you know, I played Borderlands 1 and the pre-sequel and Tales of the Borderlands. And I live and breathe Borderlands. I love Borderlands. I want to see Borderlands 3. However, not quite sold. So, the reason I'm not sold is nothing we've seen so far actually concretely leaks. Or, leaks. Links to E3. It all seems like it, but it's also not only leak season, but it's troll season because so many people are looking for leaks. The trolls are out putting out kind of fake stuff. Now, this Walmart thing, is it real? Is it fake? What is it? It could be a lot of things. Um, you know, I've worked retail before. I've seen how a lot of this stuff happens. Um, I've been in retail management, and this, to me, looks, looks like a good intentions gone wrong. And we don't know what happened behind the scenes there, but here, here's one scenario. Uh, a manager who's in charge of the video games on the website wanted to get the SKUs in, or maybe just in charge of video games in general, digital, media, whatever. The person that's in charge of that area. Let's say, you know, they know the seasons, this is their area. All right, let's get these SKUs in. Because when you're in a big corporation, sometimes taking out SKUs for these games can take some time. And they got to get them approved, get the data in, you know, building all that up. You want to be proactive on that stuff. So maybe they do have a list of publishers for upcoming game. And with that list, they want to be prepared. So they are getting these games up on their website, skews out, some details in. That way, when the game launches or once they get the information on they can launch, they're ready to go. They update a few things. You know, make the skew public, and boom, they're ready to hit, and they're not scrambling at the last second. You know, that's being good and proactive. Then what happened is, you know, some communication fell through, and someone made all these public when they weren't supposed to, and then they quickly realized it and took it down. Or maybe someone just hit the wrong button. A lot of things could have happened. One reason I kind of think this is like this is because they're are a lot of these games that are coming out, but then there's a lot of mistakes. So on it, like Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 4 isn't even out, so that's a pretty big mess up. Um, for the people that could go into it and they saw it, uh, Borderlands 3 said EA was the publisher, when it's definitely not. Um, then they said, you know, Take-Two Interactive, which, you know, that is, but 
I think that should have been the developer gearbox and then the publisher should have been down below and there's a ton of errors, there's typos. This thing is a mess. It's definitely was not ready to go live, obviously. No covers, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, that's in development hell, I heard. And I don't think Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be a title. Uh, you know, there's just, there's so much wrong with this that it just seems it's not quite there. And it makes me think it's not illegit, but this doesn't mean E3. It Nothing to this means all these games are going to be at E3. It's probably just upcoming games. And, you know, as long as you're taking out SKUs and getting these ready, you might as well do it. Um, and maybe these are going to be E3. And I'll be pleasantly surprised. But I'm not going to get overhyped for something and just get myself let down. Because that keeps happening. You know, it's been for probably over a year. It's like, hey, new packs is coming up. And we find two or three things and it's like... <gasps> There's going to be a trailer, or there's going to be this, there's going to be that, and then there isn't, and then everyone's pissed off. And we just keep going through this cycle again and again and again. And the further it comes along, you know, the more we expect it. Sorry, there's birds chirping <laughs> my windows open. I've got like a Daemonite video going on here. Um, but um, my best guess for the game, uh, when we're actually going to see some things, is probably around October and what I'm basing that on is there's that financial call with take two where they're saying you know a big game from 2k is gonna come out early I think Q1 2019 and so if it comes out January February of 2019 just after kind of the holiday rush slows down and Brandy said on his Nirvana thing that they want to shorten the announcement window. So maybe we're, instead of like six months, maybe we're going to see around four months or something. And that would be, you know, if it comes out, let's say early February, that would be early uh, November, maybe late October. And that's what I'm kind of guessing and basing it on. So I haven't looked ahead to see, all right, what's end of year, kind of early holiday season, you know, is there a PAX around that? Or what What could be where they could announce it? Um, I mean, Borderlands 3 is maybe big enough at this point for its own announcement. Uh, I don't know. So, that would be my best guess. But, like, I mean, I can kind of see some of the EA hype because I know Gearbox has never done... Sorry, E3, not EA. <laughs> There's no EA hype. None at all. Um, but uh, the E3 hype, because I know... Gearbox has never been there before, and if they're going to make the switch to go to the big show, it would make sense to go there with Borderlands 3, because it's, you know, got a ton of hype, and it's going to be really big. But, I think if they would be there, it would be Borderlands, or sorry, Gearbox Software, not Gearbox Publishing. And Gearbox Publishing has a bunch of things, like, in the works, like, going on right now. But, it's... Gearbox Software would be on the list of vendors if Borderlands was going to be there. That's just the way I'm looking at it. Um, I don't think they're being cheeky and playing games with us. I think we'd see that. So I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. And that we do see Borderlands 3 at E3. I really do. I would love that. But I'm not going to get hyped up for it. I'm going to calm myself down and just say, all right. When there's some more evidence of we're going to see something, we see something. And if I get surprised, that's sweet. But I'd rather not expect it and then get a pleasant surprise than to get myself hyped up and then get disappointed. And I, I think that's the better way to go about it. Because all of this like cycle of hype around every show that comes up and we're going to see something, we're going to see something, and then we're not, we're not, we're not. It's just, it's too much. It's not good for us. It's not good for the community. And then somehow like people transfer that god damn it kids are yelling outside my window now <laughs> people i usually record my windows closed um people transfer that anger not to the people that hyped it but to gearbox and that's not fair in gearbox because gearbox didn't do anything to like get us hyped up They're like oh we're gonna see a trailer they didn't tease us with it 
Um, you know, it's a lot of content creators that did, and not all of them. Um, you know, I watched K6's video, and he was very measured about it, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, Max actually been really measured lately, and you know, I have a history of arguing with him about that, but that's all in the past. Um, so it's not everyone, and I'm not calling you to be out on it. In fact, I'm complimenting some people for not doing that. But um, just calm down. If we see it, cool, but I doubt it. So that's it for this one. Um, I've got some other stuff to do, so I will see you all later. Bye.